What up Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of our girls volleyball coverage is sponsored by the Bay Area Breakers of Pickleball and all of our Wilson Athletics coverage is sponsored by Joel Petonio. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We've got Saturday school bouncing into the CIF Southern Section Division II girls volleyball playoffs. Wilson in the second round after a bye on the heels of its co-more league title. Thanks in large part to these two, D1 bound Chloe Prevednikoff and Bobby Gubbins, Pepperdine and Stanford respectively. Wilson trying to get back to the quarterfinals just like it did last year. Bruins taking on the Temecula Valley Golden Bears, go Pumas, out of the Southwestern League. First point of the match, is this gonna be what kind of day it is? Don't see a tape ace for the first point very often, but Wilson supported cast building an early lead freshman Simran Adams gets her big night started. Kate Vanderwall also stepping up in the middle and after all, killed by Vanderwall, Wilson up 11-5. TV timeout turned it on. Madison Snow being rangy over here. Visitors pulled to within three points, then Bobby Gubbins took over all over the floor. Thatches the roof, solo, bump set from Kate Eckenrod. Gonna dunk that. 12, reading right to left here. Back set from Kieran Adams, and she's going down the line. Gubbins, wait, what, what's missing? Uh, right, flying from the back line. On her way to a match high 15 kills in this one. Wilson on its way to a set one win as Simran is heating up. She said the early free swings got her motivated to make sure this wasn't her last game with this talented senior class. The Wilson block was strong all night, but Temecula Valley was scrappy on defense. Gets a lot of points alive while being outgunned. Allison Champion puts that one down. Chloe Prevednikoff, though, keeping pace off that Gubbins dig. And Adams bump set. She had 13 kills and 12 digs. Middle, Amaya Green gets the Dion Waiters Award for coming off the bench and filling the stat box with a few blocks. Very timely on all of those. But the Golden Bears flex on the Bruins. Take a 24-20 lead here in the second set, which was surprising considering the start. However, Wilson gets into a fortunate rotation. Prevednikov on the net against the Bears' big swingers, and Simran Adams hits him with the curveball off the table. Then Simran, absolutely on a full boil now, goes to the far side for the block. Wilson back to within one, and look at the freshman celebrating like a freshman. I love that. Like I said, the Wilson block was laying hands on everything, especially in the clutch moments. That gives CP3 another swing. Count it. Patrons over there eating it up and they're gonna be standing up for set point, and it's CP3 on the other side as well. A group is with the bump set, and that's a 6-0 run to fend off set point and take it 26-24, the type of fight you have to cultivate in every good playoff run. With their season on the line, the Bears clawed back and took a 15-10 lead here in the third set. Gubbins and Prevednikov took it from there, though. Bobby Bruin threw the tape then. Look at a group is with the touch set. Oh, inch perfect. That has the Bruins back in it. Savannah Sheridan had a pleasant stay in Long Beach with a team high nine kills and TV leads 17-14 here in the third. But one more comeback? Yeah, why not? CP3 with three kills and a four point stretch ties us 18-18. With Kate Eckenrode behind the line, Bruins go on a run as Adams goes off the block. Wilson up 20-19. Then Kate is great again with one of her three service aces. Again, in the clutch moments, Wilson is going to take this one going away on a 7-3 run and have a night, kid. The freshman Simmer and Adams, 11 kills on just 18 swings. Winner, winner. Great day to be a Bruin dinner. It's a sweep, 20, 24, 21. A lot to be excited about. This Bruin squad is clicking on all cylinders right now. Principal Caverly over there showing them some love as they head back to the quarterfinals. It's going to be at Newport Harbor on Wednesday night. For that and everything local sports, you got to keep it right here, the562.org.